This year you will suffer no loss. Gap TV, RCC Dubai TV channel. Richest. Oh yes, Lord, you are great. You are wonderful. You are, you are just excellent. Majestic, powerful, glorious. Thank you, Father. We bless your holy name. We bless, we bless, we bless your holy name. Please, Lord God Almighty, accept our praise and worship. Thank you, Daddy. In Jesus' mighty name, we worship. You are the mighty God, the great I am. Alleluia, Alleluia, you are the mighty God. Father, we worship you. There's no one like you. You are the greatest. You are the best. You are the oldest. You are the wisest. You are the richest, Lord. Glory be to your holy name. Thank you for another month. Thank you for all you've done for us in the past. Thank you for what we are doing right now. Thank you for what you will do this month of June. Thank you for what you will do for the rest of the year. Thank you for pleasant surprises coming our way. Father, please accept our thanks in Jesus' name. My Father, my God, your children are here again to have an encounter with you. I pray, Lord God Almighty, that this particular divine encounter we lead to our breakthroughs. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. And let somebody shout hallelujah. Shake hands with two or three people and tell them, before the month ends, you will testify. And then you may please be seated. Second Chronicles chapter 20, from verse 20 to 25. Second Chronicles 20, 20 to 25. And they rose up, and they rose early in the morning, and went forth into the wilderness of Tekoa. And as they went forth, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, O Judah, and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem. Believe in the Lord your God, so shall ye be established. Believe his prophets, so shall ye prosper. And somebody is going to prosper here today. And when he had consulted with the people, he appointed singers unto the Lord, and that should praise the beauty of holiness as they went out before the army and to say, Praise the Lord for his mercy endured forever. And when they began to sing and to praise, 
The Lord said, set a bushment against the children of Ammon, Moab, and Monsia, which were come against Judah, and they were smitten. For the children of Ammon and Moab stood up against the inhabitants of Monsia, utterly to slay and destroy them. And when they had made an end of the inhabitants of Seir, everyone helped to destroy another. And when Judah came towards the watchtower in the wilderness, they looked into the multitude, and behold, they were dead bodies falling to the earth, and none escaped. None of your enemies will escape this month. And when Jehoshaphat and his people came to take away the spoil of them, they found among them in abundance both riches with the dead bodies and precious jewels which they stripped off for themselves, more than they could carry away. And they were three days in guarding of the spoil. It was so much. In the name that is above every other name, as you praise God this month, wealth will change hands. <laughs> Proverbs chapter 13, verse 22. Proverbs 13, verse 22 tells us that the wealth of sinners are laid up for the just. Exodus 12, verse 35 to 36. Exodus 12, 35 to 36. <clears throat> told us how God gave favor to the children of Israel. And they took from the Egyptians silver, gold, raiment. The Bible said they spoiled the Egyptians. Wealth changed hands. In Luke chapter 11, verse 21 to 22, Luke 11, 21 to 22, the Bible says if a strong man keeps his house armed, strong man armed to keep his house, his goods are secure. But when a stronger than he shall come upon him and overcome him, then he can spoil all his goods. There is no doubt about it at all that a lot of sinners are very wealthy. There's no doubt about it from, at least from the news. The amount of money in Nigeria that are in the hands of people who are not children of God is mind-boggling. And yet, this wealth belongs to children of God. And wealth will soon change hands. But how will it happen? The Bible says it's going to take the stronger man, rising, overpowering these so-called strong men who are keeping our wealth. So what do we do to get the stronger man? What do we do to get our father to arise? You see, because in Psalm 80, 68, Psalm 68, verse, verse 1 to 3, Psalm 68, verse 1 to 3, the Bible says, when God arises, then his enemies will scatter. What do we do to get the stronger man what do we do to get our Father to arise on our behalf? Very, very simple. Praise Him. Many of us don't know that there is a link between praising God and prosperity. That's what we're about to discover now. Because in John chapter 4, verse 23 to 24, John 4, 23 to 24, the Bible says, God is a spirit. They that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. And he seeks such 
to worship him. When you begin to praise him, he arises. When he arises, his enemies scatter. When the enemies scatter, the wealth of the enemies will be transferred to the children of God. That is the story we read this morning. Three kings loaded with wealth came to attack Judah. And when Judah was going to war, all that God asked Judah to do was, just praise me and leave the rest to me. When you praise God the way you should praise him, several things happen. For example, in Acts chapter 16, verse 25 to 34, Acts 16, 25 to 34, when Paul and Silas began to praise God, Number one, there was an earthquake. And in your place of work this month, there's going to be an earthquake. When there's an earthquake, it will shake out of position. All those who have been harassing you, all those who have been keeping you down, all those who say you won't reach your goal, there will be an earthquake. After the earthquake, prison doors were opened. I'm believing God for someone today, before the end of this month, every door that has been shut against you will be forced open. Every man's bond was loose, every chain broken. I've said it before, many a times when somebody walks and walks and there's nothing coming out, it's because there are unseen chains binding his hands. When somebody struggles and struggles and he can't make progress, it is because there are unseen chains binding his feet. Every chain binding your hand, every chain binding your feet shall be broken this morning. When you praise God the way you should praise him, as it happened to Paul and Silas, the enemy will become servants. The jailer was now the one who was washing their wound, who was preparing food for them. Enemies will become servants. You will suddenly discover that those who are in position to write the recommendation for you to be promoted, who had refused to do so, when you praise God the way you should praise him, they will be the one saying, this fellow must be promoted. Yeah. Whenever you praise God and he arises, Several ways he could use to transfer the wealth of the sinner to you. One of which is in Second Kings chapter seven, verse one to eleven. Second Kings seven, verse one to eleven. There was not ordinary recession in the land. What was in the land at that time was worse than recession. People were already eating their children. Then the Almighty God moved. It was four lepers that, was, that were moving, but the, the enemy had the sound of a great host. It wasn't the full step of the lepers they had, it was the full step of the Almighty. When the Almighty is coming to defend you, the enemy will hear a noise. And when they hear a noise, they will run. And the noise that they must hear will come from your mouth. Let me hear you shout hallelujah. <laughs> Up to today, nobody can explain what happened in the text we read this morning. Three kings were allies. They were friends. And they agreed, let's go and destroy Judah. Let's take over his kingdom. 
they were friends. But all of a sudden, as the children of Israel began to praise the Almighty God, for reason nobody knows, two of the kings gathered together and they said, let's destroy the third one. And the third one didn't know what was happening. I was happening. You are my friends. Before he could do anything, they have finished him. And then as soon as they finished him, the two of them decided to finish themselves. God works in mysterious ways. When we say God is going to prosper you and you are thinking how will he do it, your brain is too small. The Almighty God has means. He has more than a thousand ways when you don't even have one. All he expects from you is to praise him. And that's what we want to do this morning. Because when we begin to praise him, the enemy will hear a noise, they will flee. Those who do not flee will destroy themselves. And then wealth will change hands. But you must understand, like we learned on Friday night, he does not even want the praises of a sinner. He said the praises of a sinner to him are an abomination. So if you are here this morning and you have not yet given your life to Jesus Christ, hurry up very quickly now. Come and give your life to Jesus so that your praise will not be an abomination to God. Because what we want to do this morning is to praise Him. And when we praise Him, things will happen that had never happened before. So if you want to give your life to Jesus, I'm going to count from one to five. Before I say five, Come and stand before me so I can pray for your salvation. And then the Almighty God will accept your praise. Come now as I count. One. Two. Amen. Now those of you already in front and those of you on the way, cry to God and say, I just ask that you please save my soul, let your blood wash away my sins, and I will serve you for the rest of my life. Please save my soul. The rest of us, let's stretch our hands towards these people and intercede for them. And say, Lord, have mercy on them. Save their souls. Forgive all their sins. Let your blood wash away their sins so that they too can praise you acceptably. Let's pray for them for a minute or two. And if you are on your way here for salvation, then you have to hurry up because I'm about to pray now. Thank you, Father. Ask God to have mercy on you and save your soul. Ask him to forgive all your sins. And give you a new beginning so that you can serve him acceptably from this moment onward. And if anyone is still coming, hurry up now. Make sure you get there before I finish praying. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Savior, I just want to bless your holy name. I want to give you all glory, all honor. Because I know that nobody can come unto you except the Father draws him. Thank you for drawing these people. And now that they have come, please receive them. Amen. Forgive them. Amen. Have mercy on them, O Lord. Let your blood wash them clean. 
and write their names in the book of life today so that from now on when they praise you you will accept their praise and when they cry unto you you please answer them by fire in jesus mighty name we have prayed amen amen uh, those of you who are in front i want to rejoice with you because i want to promise you from now on by god's grace i'll be praying for you so i'm going to need your names your address and your prayer request so if you turn to your left you see a man there with a placard please follow him some pastors are waiting down there they will collect the information i need and then they bring you back very quickly god bless you you can begin to go God bless you. One of the ways to praise God is by clapping. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Amen. One of the ways we praise God is also by giving Him an offering. I want you to therefore take an offering worthy of the one that we are about to praise. You take your offering, you lift it up to the Almighty God, we say a simple prayer. And then we will go ahead and praise God with all our hearts. Once you are ready, you please stand up with your offering and lift it to the Almighty God. And say, Father, I'm offering to you a sacrifice to show you that I appreciate you. Beginning from now, prosper me beyond measure. Go ahead, talk to the Almighty God. I'm offering you a sacrifice, Lord. Sacrificial offering of praise. Just to show you that I appreciate you. From now on, Father, bless me beyond measure. To the glory of your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. So for the next few minutes, we're going to show God that we know what he can do when we praise him. Let's praise him to such an extent that before the end of this month, wealth will begin to change hands. Over to you, brother. Lord divine, there is no one greater than you, Lord divine. He is the King of kings, the Lord of lords. Who is greater than you, O Lord divine? There is no one
আলো বিদায় দে আলো বিদায় দে আলো বিদায় নে মো পাপা আলো বিদায় দে অমাই জি গাই জি গিও ভাষা You are the king of glory Jehovah Roy Almighty God Almighty God Almighty God Almighty God Here you shout a big amen. Just for two minutes, tell the Almighty God and say, Father, I have praised you. Open all prison doors and set me free. Go ahead, talk to him. My Father, my God, I have praised you. Open all prison doors and set me free. I have praised you. My Father and my God, I have praised you. Please open prison doors and set me free. Set me free from poverty. Set me free from sickness. Set me free from aches and pains. Open prison doors today, Daddy. And set me free. Open prison doors. Oh, Almighty God, open prison doors and set me free. Thank you, my Father.
open every prison door and set me free, Almighty God. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. My Father, my God, I want to bless your name. I know when we praise you, miracles happen. And I'm thanking you on behalf of every one of us. I'm also thanking you on behalf of those who ask for special prayers and they were asked to come today. Please, Lord, because we have all praised you for every one of us, whether we have asked for special prayers or we are just praying today, Lord God Almighty, arise. Send an earthquake from heaven. Open prison doors. Destroy every yoke. Lord God Almighty, today, set every prisoner free. Free all of us from sickness. Free us from disease. Free us from poverty. Free us from sorrow. Free us from barrenness. Free us from stagnation. And please bless the offerings of your children. Sanctify it, O Lord. And all those who have given you this morning, my Father and my God, don't let them know poverty again. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. You want all walls of Jericho to fall? Then shout a really big hallelujah. This year you will suffer no loss. Cap TV, RCC Dubai TV channel.